Got one more topic I want to talk about. Um, so, my man Russell Simmons, man, he got a lot of flack coming his way from his ex-wife and two daughters. Um, well, I think he got more than two, I'm not sure, but at least two of them um, have expressed issues with him. Uh, they basically went online because, I mean, we don't know the whole story, but two things that this is stemming from. Um, number one, Father's Day, uh, one or two of the daughters posted online, Happy Father's Day to our mother. So they're basically saying, you know, we, you know, we don't, we don't have no respect for our father. So for Father's Day, we congratulate our mother because she's the one. <clears throat> and I think Russell Simmons got mad about that. And so um, then the other thing that it's stemming from is he was supporting all of them financially. He was giving them money like every month, the daughters, for stuff like, you know, whatever they want, personal. He was also paying for their school. You know, one of them was talking about going to Harvard. <clears throat> and so he decided to cut them off. He was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be supporting that. And I think it, it might have stemmed from the Father's Day thing, but I think he felt like, look, if y'all can't respect me as your father, I do all of this for y'all, I put all this money into y'all, and I can't even get a happy Father's Day, then I'm cutting you off. And I think that's how it happened. That's my understanding. But it could be something different. But um, the fact is, you know, they both, the daughter and the mother, just kind of went in Instagram and Twitter and all that, just did live videos where they just kind of aired him out, said that not only was that the issue, you know, about him cutting them off, but also that he was abusive, um, you know, not, I don't think physically abusive, but like verbally. Like he would, he would contact the daughters and talk ish about the mother, you know, your mother ain't ish, she's a piece of ish, blah, blah, blah. You know, he would do stuff like that. And the daughters were just like, look, we don't want to have nothing to do with that. Leave us out of it. And um, they also said <clears throat> it could have also been stemming from a court case because him and the wife, the ex-wife, Kamora Lee Simmons, went to um, court not too long ago and she won. And so I guess she got a lot of money out of him. And so he feels like, you know, damn, she robbed me of my money and she shouldn't have been able to get my money like that because they, they ain't been together for like 20 years. You know what I mean? It's been a while. It's been somewhere around 20 years that they broke up. Back in the days when Fat Farm first came out. You know what I mean? So yeah, they broke up like way back then. So what did you think of the whole situation? Well, I want to read this post. I want to shout out uh, one of the people I follow, Jamaica Brown. Okay. I want to shout, uh, <coughs> shout her out. But she put this post up and we'll discuss that. So after watching Russell Simmons' ex-wife video, I now came to the conclusion that she was groomed and manipulated into having sex mm. and marrying Russell. She was 16 years old and he was 35 years old. Mm. Why are y'all trying to justify this? If we were going to put R. Kelly accountable for marrying and let's say Aaliyah, we should do the same thing with Russell. All of this selective outrage to stop. Russell is a child of this, but just like R. Kelly is a pedophile one too. Even the career behind Nickelodeon is a pedophile too. If a child wow. came to you and asked for sex and you knew that they're under age, a child was superior. I don't, I don't care. If that is a traumatic experience for a child. And people are understanding that. That's why there's there's sick, twisted people out. Of out in, in this world, man. Because if Russell was a regular dude, he would have been called. Oh, he yeah. would have been calling him. Y'all would have called him out years ago. It's different because it's not your job, daughter or relative. But let a grown man or woman have sex with y'all's son or daughter, and y'all do it. Also, let me know if your son or daughter came to you about a grown man or woman touching them. And everything, y'all would brush it off and say this as an airline. That's sad. So, sorry about butchering that. But, I mean, certain, certain things, 
like I said, we discussed off camera certain things. I couldn't totally say that uh, he's like pedo, but I will say this. I mean, the grooming, I can, yeah, I could definitely see that. But like I said, like getting someone at 16 years old, not that I'm justifying it. It's a whole lot different than what R. Kelly did. R. Kelly was, you know, he was grabbing all these, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I mean, you know, I mean, Russell was definitely wrong for marrying, or I don't know if they married or just got together when she was young, but still, that's way too young for you, dude. You know, you, you definitely shouldn't have done that. I mean, he doesn't seem to be on the same level as R. Kelly, where he just always wants different young kids. You know what I mean? R. Kelly, I don't think he ever had any intention on, you know, just staying with one woman. You know, R. Kelly just wanted his pick of the litter. And, you know, every now and then he just pick a new kid. But, you know, I think Russell, you know, he, he definitely was wrong, but I don't think he's on that same level as R. Kelly, where he just desired children all the time, you know what I mean? Uh, or younger people mm -hmm. all the time. So, either way, it was still wrong, though. That's that's the most important thing, but still, you know, I, I could see that probably being the case where she might have been groomed to, you know what I mean, uh, do what she did. Because, I mean, sometimes men fall for the bait, you know what I mean? She might have been groomed just to find a man like him, take mm -hmm. care of her, you know. I'm sure he helped her a lot, you know, he helped her... Uh, well, from what I understand, they met in that, uh, what was it, that, they had like some fashion oh, week. Oh, okay, fashion week. And okay. he, uh, yeah, he met met her through that. Okay. But he okay. was doing that knowledge to her, though. Like, he was actually taking advantage of other women and all that other stuff, too. So when, when the Me Too movie came out, he got the hell out of here and went to ball. Yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah, fuck this. You go. Yep, so I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with that, man. But I know, you know, I know he did help her a lot to get herself started with the yeah. modeling and the, and the fashion line that she had. But, you know, she also said she helped him a lot over the years when he was down and out. So when he was down and out, she was helping take care of him. So I'm sure they helped each other. Yeah. But still, you know, I don't know the whole, you know, backstory, but I, I would like to know more because... If this man is doing all this financially for y'all, he can't be but so bad. You know what I mean? And for y'all to, you know, not want to at least say Happy Father's Day. You know what I mean? I don't yeah, know. That's the thing. That's even if you don't agree with him. I mean, shit. That's like this year was the first year I actually spent I actually spent you know time with my father this year. Okay. Okay. And uh, you know what I'm saying? We you know we had our issues you know and things like that. But I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm thankful that I got both my parents alive. I went and, and visited, you know, but as they followed it, I'm not saying, you know, worship the man, but if you would if you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. So just, you know. Yeah. But they, you know, they might and they might be young and they might be, you know, hurt about some stuff. So I get it. I get it. But at the same time, like, yeah, you gotta honor that. Yeah, man. So, you know, y'all let us know what y'all think about that in the comments, man, because that's a delicate situation, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm sure he's done his share wrong because, I mean, one of them posted a video of him. They muted the video so you couldn't hear it, but it was him. You could tell he was screaming in the background and just kind of going in. And so I'm sure, you know, and he did actually put out a post after, after the fact apologizing to the daughters. <clears throat> for yelling and screaming and stuff like that. So he at least did apologize for that. But I think he feels like that's, you know, pretty much the only part that he was wrong about. I don't think he had no apologies for their mother. Yeah. You know, because he also put up a post um, saying, what was it, um, saying that um, something about a father not being able to see his kids. What was it? Um, hang on, I forgot. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Do you remember seeing? Do you happen to see that post by any chance? Hold on, let me see. I'm gonna see if I can. It was. Uh, was it in the? It wasn't in the shade room, was it? Here it is. Mm -hmm. Fathers, they should have fought harder. Um, no, I'm sorry. Stop telling fathers that they should have fought harder to see their children. 
start asking mothers why he had to fight at all, mm. which is very good, you know, and I can attest to that. You know, I've had that issue, you know what I mean? Still dealing with that issue on my end. So I can, that that is very understandable. I mean, I don't know if she really kept those kids away from him, but if she did, shame on her. If he's bogus lying, shame on him. You know what I mean? You shouldn't lie, but I don't see him doing that. But I, feel, I think he feels like the mother kind of brainwashed them because yeah. a lot of times these mothers can, you know, they may not directly say, hey, you should dislike your father, but they'll sit around openly yeah. talking ish about the father. He ain't shit. He ain't that. He ain't this. He yep. never did nothing. Yep. And so eventually it spills over and the kids start soaking that shit in. Yep. And they're like, well, you know, I guess he ain't shit. You know and what I mean? And it's like, dang, well, this, I mean, it's like looking back, especially like in my mom and my dad's relationship. I ain't saying my dad was perfect. But it's like, dang. I mean, he did put a roof over my head, you know what I'm saying? Right. And things like that, and like provided. But then it's like, but then it's, uh, you know, but it's like, oh, he ain't this, he ain't did that, you know. And and, and it is, and then, you know, like you said, we start saying it and, and things like that. And you get kind of defeated as a person, and then that goes back to the mental health thing. Yeah. Where do you go to talk to? Yeah, exactly. When things like, because you know what I'm saying? So, but again, like I said, it's just, you know, I think there's definitely got to be some type of mm -hmm. like healing process and something where both parties can say, look, right. we, may not have to, we may not have to like each other. Let's respect each other. Let's respect these kids. Let these kids, you know, celebrate. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, it's it's a crazy situation, man. So y'all let us know what y'all think of that in the comments. You know, um, I don't none of us are really gonna know the whole story, but no. you know, it's definitely sad to see it play out on social media because that's one thing that I will not do. I'm not gonna sit there and go live and talk a bunch of ish about my ex or anything like yeah. that. You know, no matter how bad I feel or no matter what I feel about her, if I got something to say about that, I'm gonna say it to her. You know what I mean? And that's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't have no reason to just put her on blast. You know what I mean? But I can definitely relate. You know what I mean? I'll say that. Mm -hmm. But um, that was pretty much all we had for the day, man. I yeah, think, man. Um, we kind of went through, kind of went through a lot of topics. Yeah, 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 a lot of topics. So, yeah, we did. You know, let us know in the comments. We love feedback. And, uh, you know, we appreciate anybody who's uh, been following us. And, uh, you know, one last time before we wrap it up. Like. Share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, we need funds allocated, allocated for to school. the mother in transmission. Transmission, <laughs> <laughs> it's a transmission fix. <laughs> but um, you know. <laughs> Again, you know, all of that's just jokes, y'all. Oh, so man. you don't take don't take it too uh Yeah, man. Happy, happy. Pride. happy Pride Month. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> happy Pride Month. Oh yeah. And uh yeah, shout out to all the people that wanted to work but didn't work. Uh oh yeah, on Monday. Monday. Yeah, I had to work, man. man they they I, my ass work. But that's, that's just crazy. Like people really upset about that shit. Like, damn, we can't celebrate people. Like a group of people that was oppressed, still oppressed by this right. fucking country. And like, can we just at least celebrate a day of freedom? Right. Like, that's it. Yeah, speaking of that, um, before we go, Candace Owens has something to say about that. I was saying that it was a ghetto hall. Yeah, it was ghetto and it was made up. It's like, so how were your feelings on Columbus Day then, Miss Owens? Fact. You know what Matter I mean? Matter of fact. Come on. Nah, now. fuck it. I, I'm, I'm going to go in. What about Easter? What about Christmas? Like, realistically, like, realistically, I mean, you know, get me wrong. You can do what you want to do. This is a free country. All of them are made up. But the thing of it is, okay, if you believe in so, if you believe in Jesus Christ, right? Okay. Let's say it like this. Jesus Christ was a Nazarene. A yeah. Nazarene. Yeah, the Romans came in were the oppressors of that regime of the Jews. 
okay, Christmas is a Roman holiday. Yep. Why would Jesus celebrate Christmas? Exactly. Think about that. Exactly. It's a pagan Roman holiday. Yeah. I mean, but hey, do you? I mean, that's the thing. We, especially black people, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Black Duck. We're going to nigger it up anyway. That's, right. like, that's our job. Like, <laughs> Christmas? <laughs> right. Exactly. Easy? Barbecue. Fuck it up, fuck it up. Right. Exactly. <laughs> man, man, listen. Yeah, I, don't, I don't play that, man. But, yeah, you know. but I mean, but for real, though, I mean, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to, but if you're going to jump on that, because that one, I mean, at least with that one, that can we just agree? That that one kind of holds some merit, and the fact that other people around the world, you know, celebrate their independence, they celebrate their like from um like Cinco de Mayo, you know, what I'm saying. Remember that one year they was pissed about the uh, migrants, you know, not working, stopping working and stuff. Right, and right. That, I remember that that one lady, she was Hispanic too. But you know, she looked white, but she was Spanish. She said, Let me tell y'all, don't no joke, no joke over there and get no damn tacos, none of that shit, none of them burritos. <laughs> and you know they're gonna get mad because the people the people that just work in the country as you know, like, hey, look, we wanna be treated better. Exactly. That's like they don't like it's just common sense. And y'all out there be like, Man, I mean, they celebrating, they celebrating um you know what I'm saying? Trying to get off a day of free. I'll tell you, man, I'd rather work. I'd rather work. Right. By God, I'd rather work. <laughs> yeah, man. Y'all trip, man. Some of y'all. Trip, man. But, you know, like I said, that's it. We ain't going to hold y'all. This has yeah, been uh, episode 246. Uh, this is your man, Kurt. And this is Harry. And we'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. Peace.